Hi, everybody. Can you all hear me? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. I can hear you. Good, good. Everybody can hear me. It's okay. Yes, teacher. We can hear you. Okay. All right, guys. Well, welcome to. Great. Excellent. Thank you, Isabel. All right. Okay. She's confirming that you can hear me. Good. Okay, guys. Well, um, I'm happy to see everybody back again. Um, and uh, this is the, the last day of our, our week together. Um, are any plans that you have for the weekend? I'm gonna celebrate with my son his birthday. Oh, um, what are you gonna do? Um, I I'm going I'm going to celebrate uh, my, my son's birthday on on Sunday. Oh, okay, okay. How are you going to be celebrating? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna swim. You're going to go to a pool or to yeah. the ocean? Yeah, um, pool. Interesting. Okay, sounds good. Uh, well, sounds like you're going to be having um, lots of fun at the pool. I hope you, um, you know, yeah, have a lot of fun. Just be careful. Remember, um, you know, th things are, are still a little bit crazy out there. So just be careful, okay? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, what about the rest of you? Any plans for the weekend? I'm going to uh, clean the house. <laughs> okay, that's a good plan. <laughs> I think I'm going to do some of that. Um, uh, um, go to the church uh, on, son uh, on Sunday. Um, I go to the to, to eat pupusas on Saturday. Only that. Only that. Wow. Yes. <laughs> you already have everything planned. That's that's interesting. Where do you go to pupusas? Um, Margot Pupuseria. Oh, okay. Which one? The one in, in La Escalón or? Uh, La, La Libertad. Oh, okay. The one that is, is by the, the, um... It is near my house. Ah, okay. Okay. I understand. Sounds good. Sounds very good. Okay. Well, it's good. It sounds like it's going to be a very interesting week. Yeah. Very, very interesting week. Good. Um, okay. I'm glad to hear that. Any other plans? Anybody have other plans? I'm going to go to the beach. You're going to be going to the beach. Yeah, I'm black. Wow, that's interesting. Who are you going to go with? With some friends. And are you going to be staying there the night or just to go one day? Usually go from two o'clock and you go back to nine or eight o'clock. Eight o'clock then. Wow, very late. That's interesting. Yeah, Good. Traffic. At that time, the traffic is, is lit. And you can come in the time. Sorry, can you repeat that? When you when you come late, the traffic is, is lit. And you come in, in less time. Oh, I understand. So you come late because you don't want to have so much traffic. 
Yeah, that's true. Coming from the beach um, around six, seven o'clock, it's yeah, oh it's very. It's there's a lot of heavy traffic. You're right about that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. And in the in in the way when you come back home, you can stop any pupusas. We ate in the in the place. We we usually go to to a club. In the club, there is a there is a restaurant, and then we we ate first before we we, we come back. Oh, okay. It sounds nice. Sounds nice. Yeah. Good. Good. Well, I hope you enjoy yourself. And again, uh, like I said, like I was telling Jose, uh, Jose Arturo, just uh, be careful, right? Because you know. <laughs> the 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 pandemic has not disappeared <laughs> so just, yeah. just be yeah, careful yeah. we take her yeah and they 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 say that the new type of coronavirus that has emerged is worse than the first one because it's yeah. more contagious so they are they are suggesting that we wear two masks that's the suggestion so it's no longer that you're going to wear only one mask the best thing to do they say is to wear two masks together so it's okay. good yeah it's so you have to really 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 take care of yourself okay yeah yeah that's why it's better just to 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 be on the beach because on the pool there is there are more problems I think but on the on the beach there are it's better. The, which one is better, Lorena, for you? For me, the beach because in, on the pool there are too much people and they are all together. And on the beach you can be. There are too there are too many people. Well, it depends. It depends if you are in a pool with many people or if you're in a private beach house, right? If you're in a private beach house, there's not a, you know, you're just there with your family or your friends, right? Um, but if you are with other people, yes, uh, I, I totally agree. Yes, absolutely, yeah. Okay, well guys, um, I'm glad to see the majority of you um, back there, some, some people that um, still are not here, but that's okay. Maybe they can join us a little bit later. Okay, so um, what we're going to do right now, I'm going to get you to work um, with your groups and um, I, I assigned some homework. Uh, I just want to know if you have any questions about the homework. I think that for the question, how often, what is it for me to, um, to, to, to write the answer? But for the question, how long, how well, and how good, I, I was uh, a little difficult to, to explain the answer. How to begin? Like, um, how long do you spend on the internet? And uh, I spend two or three hours every day in the internet, it's, it's okay? Yes, very good. It's just that be careful because not in the internet, it's on the yeah, internet. Yeah. The preposition is on. But yes, yeah, you're right. absolutely right, Lorena. Very good. Yes. Uh, any other questions that you guys have or observations, something, anything at all? Uh, uh, homework, teacher. Yes, the homework. Uh, how often do you visit your grandmother? Oh, okay, yes, but, I, but what, what I'm asking is, do you have questions about the homework? Oh, okay. So nobody has any questions about the homework? About about uh, homework, uh, no question. Okay, perfect. What I'm gonna do right now, then I'm gonna sign you guys 
uh, to work in groups. Um, we're going to divide the class into... I'm actually going to make you big groups, okay? Because I want, because there are not that many questions, there are only four questions, and I want everybody to have the opportunity of asking um, other people, lots of different people, okay? So, um, let's see. Um, I'm going to right now create the groups. Let's see, let's see, give me a moment. Okay, we're gonna open the groups right now. Go ahead and join your group. One to one, una por una. I don't really. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> one. Eh, que, eh. <laughs> Yo no las he realizado, pero. Bueno, eh, eh, voy a. ¿Qué iniciar... significa? ¿Qué significa out? Salir. Ah. Como, no. o sea, comer afuera. En el caso del ejemplo ah. es como comer afuera. Sí. Out. Out. Entonces, en la primera, la de the first, eh, the answers is I usually, I usually I eat in the chicken in my in my happy birthday, in my birthday. Um, could, could you try yes. that sentence again, Noemi? Um, usually, usually eat in, in my birthday. Is that correct? I usually eat or I usually go out? Usually oh, go out. Eat. Go out. Eat. Go out. Eat for my birthday. Yes. Okay. So I usually eat out. That would be the the. the uh, okay. I usually eat out. I usually I usually eat. No. <laughs> I usually eat go out. In my no, birthday. No, no, no. I usually oh, no? eat out. I usually eat out in in my my birthday. On my birthday. On my birthday. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, Anna. Este, si, si entendí bien, eh, eh, entendí que eran eh, First. Con, eh, preguntas completas y respuestas cortas, es lo que yo entendí. ¿Estoy en lo correcto o no? Try, try to ask in Frequency. The, yes, este, eh, eh, how, often, eh, how often do you visit your grandmother? Eh, your answer eh, twice a month. Y, eh, oh, 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 quiero ver la otra que he hecho. How often do you clean the house? 
y, y three times a week uh, es uh, hijo how will can drive a car great uh, short short answer no sé si estaba en lo correcto el, el, el deber <laughs> Could you try? Could you repeat that again, Anna? Eh, how often do you clean the house? Eh, short answer: eh, three times a week. How will can drive a car? Is his ability? Entonces, eh, oh, great! Es 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 la short answer. Is short answer. Right, exactly. Um, yes, but only the questions that are there. How often do you eat out? How long do you spend on the internet? How well can you understand native English speakers? How good are you at riding a bike? Only those four questions. Okay? Okay. That's good, yes. Okay, continue. Noemi, Noemi. Ah, tú ya, ya participaste. Okay. Okay, excellent. Okay, I see. I often on the internet during today for work and study English. Yeah. Okay. Could you repeat that again, Carla? Uh, uh, the I often on the internet during today because I work in study English. Okay, good. Just that you are missing a, a verb. So you say I I often and then we need a verb. I often stand. Okay. I often spend time, I often spend time on the internet, would be okay. Yeah, and that would okay, be okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. The other question? How well can you understand Nazi English speakers? Yeah. <laughs> it's I... awful. <laughs> no, very well. It's a short answer. The long answer, I not very well understand the speaker's native English. Yeah. I hardly ever. Um, I have a problem trying to understand so, the native English speaker. Okay. I write once in a while, I understand native English speakers. Um, so way yeah. once in a while. Okay, not very well. Um, I can understand a forty-five percent. Okay, that's good. I hardly ever stay. I can, I can difficult understand. Okay. You hardly ever understand. Okay. Uh, for me, it's, it's very, uh, not very well. Uh, it's very difficult to understand a native English speaker because they are very fast to yeah, to to talk and they, I they. <laughs> I I they. can understand. Very well. Be, be careful of the, of the pronunciation. It's not native, it's native. 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 Mm -hmm. Correct. Thanks, teacher. Okay. okay, the next question is How good are you at reading a bike? Riding bike. Bike. Um, I answer. I am excellent riding a bike. 
Wow. I'm terrible driving a bike, a bicycle because I never learned how to do it. <laughs> I'm pretty good. Um, I hardly ever use the internet just to buy shoes or something like that. And the sure answer is I hardly ever shake it. Okay. Um, my answer and my full answer is I'm usually spend on the internet, but it's for my job. Um, because um, I am an informatic and only that. Um, okay. How long do you spend on the internet? Um, Oscar, creo que uno. Two hours. Yes, I'm here. Yes, my. Yes. Can you repeat it? Can you repeat it? Yes. Do you have any questions? The next, is the next question or what? Ah, no. And the other question, the third question is, how well can you understand nati native English speakers? Oh, yes. I understand 80%. You know, eighty, eighty, eighty percent. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, my answer. Uh, I sometimes understand yeah. native English speakers because speakers because um, they are very fast in their expression. Is this is is hard for you to, uh, yes. to comprehend? Just remember, guys. Um, just be careful with the pronunciation. It's not native. It's native. Nay. Okay. okay. Native. Native. Mm -hmm. native. Yes. native. Native. English. No. Speaker. Right. All right. English speaker, yes. Okay, thank you. So good. Uh, well, so well. Uh, right. Yes, Rica. Ricardo. How well can you understand native English speakers? <laughs> Any? <coughs> Not very well. Any question? Any participant? Not very well. Ah, okay. Remember that, that this is for everybody. Everybody should participate. Yes. Um, I um, I sometimes understand native 
native um, English speaker. Oh, thank you, Jacqueline. Okay, How I sometimes How I can understand when the native English speaker, Oscar. Oh. Sorry, can you repeat? How well can you understand native English speaker? I understand a lot because I watch videos and movies with oh. subtitles in English. Okay, thank you. How well can you understand native English speaker, Isabel? Uh, I sometimes I can understand when the person speaks slowly. Thank you. And Jenny, how often? Oh, pardon. Sorry. How well can you understand native English speaker, Jenny? Okay, I can understand sometimes um, because for the people the pronunciation is is very very fast mm. um, or speaking very fast. Uh, I can understand. I think so. Thank you. Only that. Uh, You're welcome. And the uh, fourth question is, how good, how good are at reading alike? Not so good. Remember, it's not reading, it's writing. 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 Okay. Writing. Writing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. remember, I would like everybody to uh, have the opportunity to, uh, to ask and answer, okay? Uh, okay. So, um, I, I would like everybody to, to be able to um, participate. So, so go ahead and jump in and ask around, that's okay. 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 Mm -hmm. I, uh, I hardly, hardly ever in at right reading in a writing a bike I have I have a how do you say miedo <laughs> or temor fear <laughs> okay <laughs> I have, I have, or usually say I I am afraid which is, which is probably I'm oh scared yes Afraid. afraid, yes. Afraid, okay. Afraid. Thank you, teacher. I'm afraid. You afraid? Okay. I'm not that good at reading bike. Uh, riding. Right. Um. Why? Classmate, my answer is not very well because I'm afraid I'm nervous. Only oh. that. Thank you, Jenny. Why are you, okay. why are you nervous? Excuse me, teacher. Why are you nervous? Nervous. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No, why, why did you, you said that you were nervous? Excuse me, teacher. Did you say that you were nervous? 
Yes, I ner nervous and afraid. Oh, okay. Oh. You're nervous and afraid. Okay, I understand. Yes. Yes, because no very well. Oh, okay. I understand. Yes, teacher, the saying I never ride a bike, I can That's a scare me because I never learn it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. I, un I, I, I understand. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to give you one more minute, guys, and then we're going to finish. Okay? Okay. My answer is I'm never riding a bike because I have a serious bone health problem. So I was nine years old. And so I have never practiced it. Practiced it. That's me. Come on, guys. Go ahead. There, there are lots of people in this in this group, so everybody should be talking. Anybody have questions? Well, For example, my full, sorry, my full answer is I ride in a bike always in the morning, in the afternoon, because I I travel every morning and every afternoon to my job. It is good. It's very good for me. Yes, for exercise. And what about all? For me, not so good. It's good because it's healthy. Yes. Yes. Yes, very healthy. Depends. Okay. Any question? No, the participant. No. I can add other questions. And no. For example, um, let me see. Um, like, how often do you eat vegetables? I'm, I'm sometimes eat vegetables because it's healthy. Okay. I rarely eat vegetables. Okay. Thank you. I'm, I rarely <laughs> eat vegetables and, and when I eat vegetable is with other um with other other um other food Okay, are you guys finished? Yes, teacher. 
death where he's dumb. Okay, then I'm gonna meet you guys in the main room, all right? I'll meet you guys in a moment. Okay. Okay, guys, very good. Any questions that you guys have at this moment that you would like me to answer about the exercise? I like practice, teacher. Yeah, well, I like you guys to practice too, right? So that's good, excellent. Teacher, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear. Uh, you said uh, it's correct when uh, we can say don't be, don't be afraid. It's correct when I say don't be scared. Yeah, also? that's fine. Yeah, that's not a problem. Yeah. So don't be afraid. Don't be scared. That's good. Afraid and scared are synonyms. So yes, you can, you can use both of them. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Any any other questions that you guys have? No, no question. Okay, all right guys, in that case, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start with the next topic here. Um, in this topic, we're going to be learning about talk, uh, how to talk about the past, okay? So um, we're going to start in, give me a moment. I'm gonna be, I'm going to be um, sharing the uh, PowerPoint presentation. Let me know when you can see it. Are you ready to make classes? No, 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 yeah. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. All right, excellent. All right, in that case, we're going to start. Well, first of all, um, you guys know. Uh, okay, so it's uh, we are the English pre intermediate two, consider Jessica Guerrero, it's day number four. And uh, today is uh, Jan uh, Thursday, January 28th, 2021. Okay. Um, okay, so what we're going to be doing here, we're going to be learning, first of all, about um, the how to make the past of regular and irregular verbs. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do I'm going to get this is an overall view so with verbs like play what we do is we put words we put the word play here and then to make it the past we just add ed okay so that's it pretty good pretty simple yeah. 
Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. The mo most most verbs uh, with the regular verbs just are going to do all you're going to do is put the regular verb, the base verb, and then add ed. That's as simple as that. Teacher. E, 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 de, e, de, e de only a regular verb. ED is e. only for regular verbs. Yes, correct. ED, excuse me. It's correct. Only regular verbs. Okay. Now, with verbs like like, we cannot just, we can put ED. Why? Because like already finishes with the letter E. So we can't have a double E. It would look very strange to have a double E. So instead we only add the letter D, okay? Because the E is right here. Okay, so it's like plus um, D. And that happens with other verbs like hate, um, love, complete, um, what else, what other verbs, um, oh, can't think of anything right now, but anyways, um, we only add D, okay, with those verbs, because they finish in E. Now, with verbs that finish in Y, we are going to change the Y to an I. So eliminate the Y, change to I. And then put, just like here, ED. Y changes to I, and then put ED. Now, be careful though, because it's not all the verbs that finish in Y. Because if you notice, this one also finishes in Y. Play finishes in Y. Why don't you change it? It's because before the Y, there is a vowel. The vowel is A. Yeah? A, Y. And then here, it's not a vowel. It's a consonant. So when the verb finishes in a consonant plus Y, then we eliminate the Y and change to an I and then put ED. Is that clear for everybody? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Any questions at this moment? No question. No question, teacher. No question. No question. Okay. Um, just give me a moment here. Teacher. Uh, yes. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, no sé. <laughs> um, the pronouns, uh, um, the verbs, the verbs is is played like like cried stop. Wow. No. I do understand really the question. Eh, la pronunciación de estos verbos. Okay, well, I'm, I'm not going to really talk about pronunciation so much in this moment. Uh, because that, that is another class. But I can pronounce these verbs in this, these ones right here. And it would be played, liked, cried, cried. and stopped. Stopped. Ajá. O sea, bye. yo le puedo pronunciar estos verbos, pero en, la, en sí, la, la regla de pronunciación Esa ya es otra clase. Okay. O sea, porque ese es un, un tema muy aparte. Okay. Entonces, ahorita solo estamos viendo la regla gramatical. Teacher, okay. I have a question. Eh, eh, the ruler eh, 
grammatical uh, stop, please. Stop. Eh, eh, inicia con consonante eh, y hay una doble P. Yes, I have not finished explaining. Okay. Ah, es que eh, me... Yeah. Um, ajá, es que me, me, uh, me hicieron otras preguntas entre medio, por eso que no he terminado. Es que me uh, yes. Eh, no, it's okay, it's okay. No worries. No, don't worry. I'm, I'm going to get there. I'm getting there. Okay, so at this moment, you understand this, it's clear that Y changes to I and then put ED. Is that clear at this moment? Yeah, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, excellent. Now, the last one here, is stop and for stop what happens is we put okay we we put over here stop okay we, we put it over here and then yes um you probably already noticed that there is a double p why the reason is because i like to explain it the the way that i explain it is I like to call this the rule of one, 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 okay? That's the rule that I like to explain. I'm gonna explain it down here so it's, it's pretty clear for everybody. Okay, so the rule, the rule that I like to explain it as, the rule of the one, 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 okay? Let me just, So it's one, one, one. Okay, the rule of the one, one, one. What do I mean by the rule of one, one, one? What it means is that, give me a second. Okay, so I, I like, like I said, I like to call it the rule of the one, one, one. And why do I call it the rule of the one, one, one? It's because, or let me, yeah. sorry guys, my computer is, my keyboard is going a little funny right now. So, like I said, I like to call it the rule of the one, one, one. And the reason why I like to call it this is because the rule is Okay. okay. The rule is one syllable syllable times and one vowel and one consonant. So, if you notice, the verb stop is one syllable, right? 
one syllable stop right is that clear yes well yes teacher clear okay good and then it finishes in one vowel in this case o and one consonant p yeah so you end up with one 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 that's why i like to call it the rule of the one 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 a, that's just me personally as a teacher I, I i teach it as the rule of the one 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 because it's one syllable stop and it finishes in one vowel o and one consonant p when this happens what we do is we double the consonant in this case the double p and put ed is that clear for everybody yes teacher yes it's clear thank you okay good and so after we double the p we just put ed simple as that so s-t-o-p p again and then ed only that it's simple as that any questions at this moment no teacher it's okay teacher okay good now let's um take a look over here so this is this is just an introduction the rules are explained a little bit better over here okay let me make this a little bit better bigger okay so the majority of the the rules the majority of them um, we're just going to be ending in so the first rule is if it ends in e we're just going to add d for example live lived stare stared okay so only if it finishes in e then only add d is that clear Is that is that is that clear for everybody this rule yes yes yes, yes sure. okay good now over here the other rule is if um it ends in vowel and y we add ed it's a vowel example stay stayed play Played. So if you notice, stay finishes in one vowel, which is A, and, a, and the Y. Play finishes in one vowel, A, and the Y. So we just add ED, only that. Okay? But if the verb finishes in, or ends in consonant plus Y, then we're going to have the try, for example, we eliminate the Y and put I E D. The same thing here. Carry finishes in R Y. And so we eliminate the Y and put I E D. So this one changes the Y to an I and add E D. If if it's only one syllable and a single vowel and in a single consonant or the one I showed you right now, one 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 then you were going to double the final consonant and add ed so nod nodded rip ripped okay so here we have nod is one syllable and it finishes in one vowel and one consonant so we do we do the double d hmm. rip is one one syllable and it finishes in one um vowel i and one consonant P, so we double the P and add E D. So at this moment, that's what we have learned. So far, so good. Single vowel and ending in single single consonant. Yes. Do you have any questions? 
No question, teacher. Okay, good. All right, and this one, we haven't learned this one yet, but I'm going to explain it. This is when you don't have one syllable, but you have two syllables. And the stress is on the second syllable. And it ends in a single consonant and double the final consonant. In that case, you double the final consonant and add ed. So, in other words, this one is, the rule is not one, one, one. The rule is, um, let me, let me see if I can show you what the rule is. So in this one, the rule that we're going to be using is not one one one, but it's actually two. Okay, so that's going to be the rule here. It's not going to be 111, one, one, but it's going to be 211. One. Why? It, because instead of having one syllable, it's going to be two syllables. But the, the but it continues being one vowel and one constant. The difference is that the difference between this one and this one is because in the stress is on the second syllable. So for example, you, the, in the verb commit, you say commit, not commit. It's commit. The stress, the stress, or or like we say in Spanish, la fuerza de voz, is on the second syllable. Commit. The same thing with prefer. Prefer. You don't say prefer. It's prefer. It's on the second syllable. So that's why that the two stands for both the two syllables and the stress on the second syllable. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Clear. clear. It's clear. Perfect. Okay. All right. And finally, I'm going to show you over here some examples. Example. I played a computer game. So notice play, ed. You studied math. Why? Because study finishes in a consonant and, va and, a, and a y. So we eliminate the y and put ied. He watched a talk show. We only put ed because watch is a regular verb and it has nothing special to it. So I just put ed. She wanted to stay home. Again, wanted is not a special verb, you know, just so you just put ed. Cooked, we cooked Italian food. So again, cook, we just put ed. Now this one, they chatted online. Chat is, it follows the rule of the one, one, one. So one syllable, chat, and it finishes in one vowel, a, and one consonant, t. In that case, we double the consonant and put ed. Is that clear? Is that clear, everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so do you have any questions at this moment? No question. No, no question. Sir, can you send us that presentation to the WhatsApp group? Sorry, you asked if I can send what? Can 
can you say and add that presentation to a WhatsApp group? Oh, yes, of course, of course I can. Yes, I, and I will, and I will. Okay, um, now that is, that is the rules for regular, regular verbs, okay? Um, it, sorry, I just, I'm just reading right now, um, Mauricio, Mauricio's a question, and yes, the answer is yes. If the accent, or this, what we say in English, not accent, but stress, if the stress falls on the um, last syllable when there are two, then then we have to double. Okay, so that that's how we do it. Now that's with regular verbs, but in Eng well the majority of the verbs in English are regular, but there are about two hundred verbs in English that are irregular. So that means that because the word says itself, it's irregular. You cannot, um, you cannot, there's no rule to that, okay? So for those ones, unfortunately, the only thing you can do is to memorize. Simple as that, memorize. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send you, on, um, not, I'm going to be sending you not only this PowerPoint presentation, but I'm gonna be sending you a list of irregular verbs that I want you to start looking at, okay? And then on Monday, we're going to uh, practice them, okay? Practice using them. And I'll also be sending a little bit of homework for you to work on, okay? All right, so any questions at this moment? Anything you wanna ask me before, before we leave? For me, no teacher. For me, it's clear, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. It's been a pleasure. Okay, in that case, I'm going to we're going to finish um, our class today, and I'm going to send you everything in the WhatsApp group, and. Um, Remember tomorrow, no class, okay? Don't connect because there will be no class. And I will see you until Monday, okay? Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye everybody. Good night. Good night, Good everybody. Good night. Have a good night.